Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey. Are you... Did I already say are you ready for another adventure? Doesn't matter, I'm back with some good old fake Grand Order. Today, I am going to be doing, hopefully, the entire interlude here for Passion Lip, everyone's gigantic, um, breasted favorite, favorite giant breasted alter ego? Yes. That's what she is, and she's a soccer face. Um, so we're gonna go in here. And I'm going to be obviously using her on every single one of them. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to, I plan to do the entire interlude. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. Uh, the last time I tried to do an interlude, I think it was Arjuna and it took forever. So let's see. You can never tell with fate because of the way the stories are. So that's going to be today's video. If you end up liking it, remember to leave a like. Uh, that's it. Comment about what you're feeling about the story. Damn, this is already better than most of the interludes in the game. Well, specifically the year one there, Lutz. They're usually... Hmm. Hello? What is this place? I'm back at the bottom of Seraph? Yeah, I know what this place is. Huh? You know this is Seraph? And here I thought I'd erase those memories. Hmm. You must be an even rarer senpai than I thought if you're able to break the fourth wall. Then again, maybe you just downloaded info about Seraph unconsciously when you formed your contract with Lip. And now you remember this place the same way you remember a bad dream. Well, I can probably let that slide. I do love enforcing my rules, but I also love spunky masters who go around breaking them. It's kind of like how a cat enjoys toying with a mouse who struggles just makes it more fun. Anyway, that's enough setup. Welcome, castaways on the digital sea to the Spiritron virtual world. I'm BB, the high-grade AI that keeps humanity healthy, here to serve as your guide. Those of you who already know me will no doubt be thinking, you again, now what have you done? Those of you who don't know me, I want you to gasp in surprise at this beautiful angelic kohai, I don't know how to pronounce that because it's Japanese, swooping in to join the depths of hell, okay, okay? I'll put this a little bit lower. It is very loud. I mean, it's very good music, but... That's a lot to take in all at once. Huh? You don't know how you got here. You thought this was supposed to be Lip's interlude, not mine? Oh, Master, how could you? First you shamelessly pursue me, make me bring you all the way to the secluded spot where no one will bother us, then you just... forget? What happened to the monstrous libido? Here you have this sumptuous gourmet ban ban banquet? Yeah, banquet. I was about to say banquet. Banquet before you, and now you're telling me you'd rather go eat some grass? Well then, I guess we're just gonna have to do something about that. My little idiot of a master, this calls for dramatic measures, drastic measures. Get ready for my patented awakening beam. Kazap, flashback music, go. <sighs> Seem kind of worn out. Huh? Buh. No, I'm not really. Sure, my shoulders are a little stiff, but some more <laughs> and some of the most some of the more insensitive people have been annoying me. And I keep worrying about how much larger I might get if my spirit origin keeps growing. But that's all, just your basic ordinary run of the mill anxieties. It's nothing you need to concern yourself with, Master. If you need to talk, I'm happy to listen. Thank you, Wookie. I really appreciate that. But I promise it's no big deal. I've been I've just been wondering if I'm really all that helpful. I know I'm stronger than other servants, but I'm also a lot less mobile and agile. So I find myself thinking that I could change that, I could handle battles all on my own. I know how much commanding so many servants at one tires you out, so I'd love to be able to help you with that. Aw, oh, lip. Honestly, I don't even know what everyone else is doing here. It's not like they're any help. I think they have a lot of nerve using up your magical energy as weak as they are. Plus, they act all high and mighty just because they happen to be here before me. Who do they think they are? The whole idea of seniority mattering is stupid. You'd think they'd be ashamed of showing them up, showing them up so badly even though we were just born recently. This is getting a little heavy. Not to mention, they've been teasing me again lately. I've been doing my best to learn from my mistakes and not go around breaking so many things, but... Uh, I'm sorry, it's nothing. Please just forget about it. The point is, my problems are simple and boring. I can do something about 
No, I have to do something about them myself. So I will, and I'll be my old self by tomorrow. I promise. Huh? What? That's weird. I just got really dizzy. Look out. Eek, no, Wilkie, don't. I can't hold myself up anymore if you try to support me from the front. Right into the Breast Valley. Oh gosh, oh gosh, Wookie just fell in. BB, BB, you're the last person I'd want to ask, but I need your help. I always knew this is how I would eventually die. Surrounded by boobs. There, you're all caught up. Now do you get what's going on? So I'm inside Lips Breast Valley. By the way, that is legit the name of the skill. Bingo, you're trapped deep within Lip even as we speak. It usually looks more like a dump where they toss royal family coffins, but I thought you'd feel more at home if I gave it a Seraph-style makeover. Still, what's with this place? I thought Breast Valley was just a term for cleavage, not an actual valley. I know there are plenty of big boob lovers out there, but this is ridiculous. Hasn't her designer ever seen a real woman? As an AI myself, I find it atrocious. What sort of demon came up with a skill with such poor taste? You did. How could you say that? Sure, I may have been personally responsible for Lips for creation, but I wasn't being malicious with her character design or anything. I just poured everything I disliked about myself into her and added the fourth dimensional pocket in her rack because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> All right, escaping should be priority. I knew that. Bluntly, ending up in Lips Breast Valley is a one-way ticket to the trash heap. What gets thrown in here cannot return to reality. You're doomed to live out the rest of your days wandering around in here without even a sweet embrace of death to bring you comfort. Just kidding, There was that was the old passion lip. After she was given that miraculous second chance, she took a hard look at her own monstrous nature, reflected on it, and learned about it. And now she can at least pull her contracted master back out. Well, that's a relief. Okay, let's get on with it. Hehehehehehehe. <laughs> Not so fast. You didn't think I'd let a juicy situation like this slide, did you? I mean, now that you're here, don't you want to see how deep this valley goes? Every girl's got things she wants to keep hidden, what she's really like, her weaknesses, her turn-ons. Well, here in our world, we call those places our secret gardens. Back on the far side of the moon, we were supposed to uncover each other's secret gardens, understand them, and accept each other. How embarrassing. Of course, as the world's most perfect kohai, I didn't have any such weakness myself, but that's a story for another time. In your case, learning about Lips SG will give, will make your bond as master and servant even stronger. So what do you say? Don't you want to find out Lips' juiciest secrets, in particular the ones in her secret gardens, the majestic nature? The whole reason Lip hasn't been herself lately is because this particular uh, secret garden has been out of the whack. The whole bit about her leave, about her having to do something about her problems herself is actually part of the problem. I mean, why should she do what she's got a perfectly capable master for her early on? I say you two should face up, face what's lips, what? I say you two should face what's in lips heart together. Do that and passion lip, the ultimate care is bound to get even stronger. Mm. I don't like the idea of doing this without her permission. Great, then let's get this crazy escape room started. I already went and mapped out lips mind like a CPU. I call it the software labyrinth, light. The complete digital EEG just for love and trauma. Don't worry, getting there will be a nice gentle slope. All you have to do is keep making your way up. You might run into the obstacle on the way too, but all you need to do is get past them with wisdom, bravery, and spunk, and you'll get, you got, I'm sure you got all those in spades. What's that? Wouldn't it make more sense to go down if you're, del you're delving into secrets? Going up should be just bring you to the surface. You sure are a detail-oriented ant, aren't you? Look, this is just a skill, okay? It's way too soon for you to trapeze into her mind's realm of innocence and start enhancing her noble phantasm. Once you're at that level, you and Lip will need to have a good long talk about it. Once you're at that level, you and Lip will have to have a good long talk before you even think about trying that. For now, I'm going to I'm going nice and easy on you. So this will just be the soccer labyrinth newbie zone. Ready to enter the fleeting wonderland, little senpai? Uh, I guess so. Don't really have a choice. Well, that didn't take long. Look out, Master. The Ruthless Brand Brigade. You mean these servants here? <laughs> these are servants here? Of course, we're inside Lip's boot er, mind, after all. It's chock full of mental trauma she experienced in Caldea. 
this guy's case, she probably asked him to teach her how to play an instrument, and now he <laughs> now resents him for holding her to his high standards. Lip's not the type to forget a grudge, no matter how slight it might be. She's really good at repressing her feelings, too. Huh. Well, at least these guys should be easy pickings. I mean, easy to defeat. Since we can't go any further until we beat them, I'll do you a favor and step up to the challenge myself. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Your adorable Kohai is good going to put on for your senpai. What? I need to get a drink. Let me get a sip of this Gatorade. Ooh, boy. So, yeah. I don't know much about Lip just because she was from CCC. All I know is what Fake Granddaughter tells you about her. I knew going in that her boobs are like a special zone. He's just like how you middle end. Okay. This should be pretty easy to beat. Jesus, I say as I before you and look at their health. Yeah, that's nice. It should be easy, I think, is what I'm trying to say. It shouldn't be too hard. My lip is pretty strong. Not the strongest, but strong enough. Okay. Oops, I hit the middle. I meant to hit the end one. Damn. That's gonna be unfortunate. Oop, that did not deal as much damage as I thought it would. I thought it would. <laughs> but it's okay, she has pretty big defense. <laughs> See, she doesn't take anything from that. Um, Go here. We need to get BB's uh, Noble Phantasm ready to hit the, the back end one over there. Yeah, it shouldn't be too tough. We do need to kind of kill them before they get their Noble Phantasm, because they will all hit at the exact same time. Uh, no, I'll wait a little bit more. I should have done three quick arts just to get some more stars on that side. But it's fine. At least I think it should be fine. Hmm. Wow, really nothing from BB is showing up at all. Alright, I'll try one more. And then next turn I should be able to do it. Middle one should be dead with this, I think. Really? He lives? That's crazy. Stop shooting me. Alright, there we go. Now heal her. Okay. And then this should be it this turn, I think. Not this turn, I mean, if we were this turn or the next turn, whichever one, to be honest. Shouldn't be too hard. Be happy. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Shame there's no. The only weakness to Avengers are. Wow, I really didn't do that much damage. That's crazy. I thought it would deal way more damage. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna do this, this, then I'll do this. Okay. 
That should, I think, stop all their noble phantasms. At least I think it should. Actually, I, there's a 50 50 chance it doesn't. No, they all lose charge. Okay. It's whether or not they get stunned. That's the part. Okay. Get him, BB. Finally. Okay, let's see. The real shame of it all is I really did need that last one. Alright, I'm gonna do this just in case. There should only be one left after this anyway. Can I heal? I forget if this heals or just removes. Okay, it removes debuffs. I forget. Alright, I should peel the middle one and then we'll see how much uh, the first one has left. Either way, DBB should finish him off next turn. Unfortunately, this is going to kill a lot of these people. Basically everyone but BB. It's fine, because BB's the only one that matters to live. Doesn't matter who's in the back row. They could all die. As long as BB survives, it shouldn't be too bad. That's kind of annoying, to be honest. Okay. I should at least get her some. Okay, yeah. No, he's dead. Good, good, good. Damn, all that pawn CP. I like to see it. I like to see it. Okay, I'll continue this in the next video. Till next time, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.